Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a closet declutter and organization. I don't think I have that much stuff in my closet to begin with. I think my closet and my wardrobe is already fairly minimal in terms of the amount of stuff I actually have, but when I look in my closet I still see a few things that I don't wear all the time or some things that I actually never wear, some things that still have tags on them. And I've just been feeling kind of overwhelmed lately with the amount of stuff that I have. If you've ever started practicing minimalism, you know that it doesn't seem to matter how much stuff you get rid of. There always seems to be more stuff that you don't need or don't use that you can afford to declutter. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if you guys are interested in sort of a Marie Kondo style closet declutter and reorganization, then keep watching. But first, I'm going to refill my coffee. Like there's so much stuff in here that I just don't wear or like I still feel kind of overwhelmed when I look in my closet and I do have a lot of shoes and but I feel like I use all my shoes so I don't know if I really need to get rid of any of them so much as I just need to come up with a better way to organize them it just looks really cluttered to me and I don't know maybe I do have too many pairs maybe I can't afford to get rid of some everything goes onto the bed and I'm gonna go through everything from from there Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of my closet and put it on my bed so that I can go, go through everything piece by piece. Okay, so now that I have everything laying on my bed, I can see that I'm not so much of a minimalist. This is actually a lot of clothes. That was actually a lot of work. This stuff's heavy. So I'm gonna go through all of this stuff one by one. Over here you can see I have my gym wear and then I have all of my pants and then to the right are all of my sweaters and then all of my shirts and then I have like two piles full of dresses and I have a few sweaters slash cardigans over there. I know for a fact there's a bunch of dresses and cardigans that I for sure don't wear. I know there's gym clothes that I never wear and I know there's probably a couple pairs of pants I can get rid of out of there as well. The shirts and the sweaters are pretty culled already because I've gone through them numerous times because out of everything I have I obviously wear shirts probably more, more often than anything else. Anyways, my work is cut out for me because I don't even know where to put the piles of the keep stuff because I have so many piles of already have stuff. Okay, so I think the easiest thing to do is I'm just gonna go through all my dresses and as I'm keeping things, I'm just gonna put them right back into my closet and then the stuff that I'm putting in different piles to get rid of or to sell, I'm just going to toss on the floor in two different sections. If you guys want, I'll show you a couple of things as I go. I'm not gonna show you every single thing because that's gonna take forever. This skirt and dress outfit is also really, really cute and I've worn this on numerous occasions, so I'm gonna keep this. This one, you guys, I'm kind of at odds over because although I love the skirt, I love the style of it, and I like the top, I have still never worn this since the first day that I bought it. And it was quite expensive too. This skirt was from Maritzia. I think it was like $150. And then it has the really cute matching tube top. But like I say, I don't think I've ever worn this. So this is one of those things that just sits in my closet. It's always hard to decide whether to keep stuff like this because you've spent so much money on it. Just because you've spent the money on something doesn't mean you should keep it because you've already lost the money. You can't get the money back. And so this stuff sitting in your closet may as well be worn by somebody else. Honestly, I love the style and I love the pleated skirts, but if we're being totally honest, I can get myself another pleated skirt in a better color. So this is gonna go in the donate pile as much as it breaks my heart. <laughs> 
This dress is a peak dress. This dress makes me feel like I'm a domestic housewife going shopping for furniture at Ikea. And I kind of like that feeling, so even though I'm not a housewife going shopping at Ikea for furniture, I still really like this dress. So since we're here, we may as well go through the cardigans. Um, this one, I really like the ruffly sleeves. I just never wear this thing anymore. I don't want to let it go because I really like the ruffly sleeves. I mean, obviously you're not going to wear it with a pink sweater, but I need to try it on just so I can get the feel for it again. This is quite the look, isn't it? Um, I don't know, I love the fluffy frilly sleeves. That's why I bought this thing. And I've gotten so many compliments on it when I've worn it. Okay, obviously I love this. So I'm gonna keep this one. This was the one that I wasn't sure about, which is kind of bizarre because it's like the nicest one in my closet. <laughs> but the truth is I just never wear this one and there's no point in keeping something around that I don't wear. Sometimes I find when it's when you're going through your wardrobe, it's easier just to grab the stuff that you know you want to keep and then leave the stuff that you're not sure about till the end. And this is one of the things I can definitely say for sure that I'm going to keep, so I'll put this in my closet. Two sweaters left. And this one here is, they're both kind of trendy. This one has um, a bell sleeve on it, which I really liked um, last year and I wore this a lot for clinical. Like I got a ton of use out of this. I just don't really wear it a lot for casual wear, but if I had a work meeting or something in the winter or if I had some sort of more formal, um, like office related thing to go to, I think I would probably wear this if it was winter time. So I'm gonna keep it. This is actually one of my favorite sweaters. I love this sweater so much. It's got a really cute peplum bottom, and the only trouble with it is, I don't know if you can see, but it has a lot of all over pilling because I've worn it so many times and I've washed it so many times. But at the end of the day, it's one of my favorite sweaters and I still grab this all the time if I don't know what else to wear. I'm gonna keep this one. We'll do the ones that I know I'm keeping for sure. Keeping this one. Again, this is one of those sweaters that I've worn a million times and you can see it too is also pilling all over the place and it's kind of lost its shape a little bit but it's still one of my favorite sweaters and I still wear it all the time so I'm gonna keep this one. Here's one I can definitely get rid of. It's a tube top. I haven't worn this since I purchased it and even though it's a beautiful color, it's actually one of my favorite colors, there's no point in me keeping this because I haven't worn it in two years since I purchased it. It's always so nice when you have a hard yes, you know? Like tweed. Tweed's always a hard yes, right? I love tweed. We will be keeping this one for sure. Look how see-through that is. I didn't realize how see-through this thing was until I started going through my clothes. But this shirt's brand new and I love the little fringed sleeves and why don't they stay out? Love the little fringed sleeves, so we're gonna keep this one for sure. My two favorite tops of all time. We're gonna keep those for sure. I wear these. I've probably worn these shirts each about a hundred times and I'm not kidding. They're just the best. And I can see on film that it's looking, <laughs> the armpits look like they could use a little TLC. Um, I promise it doesn't look that dirty in reality. <laughs> All right, here's an example of something that's really hard for me to decide. I love both of these shorts, but these are the only ones that I can ever see myself wearing, and these are the only ones I've ever actually made into like an outfit. These ones are super cute, but they're very trendy. I don't know why it has to be so hard. Like, why do we hang on to stuff that we love, but we never wear? That's that's the thing. These are a hard yes. I'm gonna put these in the I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile. 
Marie Kondo says there's not supposed to be a maybe pile, but I'm making a maybe pile. <laughs> Okay, this is where it gets hard for me because I don't feel like I need 30 pairs of pants in my closet, but I don't know if I can part with these ones. Like these ones are the exact same pair of pants, just two pairs, because they're like the best pants I've ever owned. They're so comfortable. And especially for like office or for when you're dressing up, they just go with everything. They're like a high-waisted skinny kind of a um, legging pant and they're just amazing and that's why I have two pairs of them because I wanted to make sure that when one of them wore out like that one's kind of starting to do that I had a second one um, and then for jeans I have one pair of dark wash jeans and one pair of light jeans and I'm not even a jean person like I so rarely wear them but I I want to have them just for those days that I do feel like being a little bit more casual um, and these ones are brand new so I'm gonna keep these ones for sure because I love these ones actually I like how they look when they're on. I just have to make myself actually wear them. These ones, I don't really know because I don't wear, I don't wear jeans very often as it is. Like, I don't know, this one's tough, like I say, because I just, I don't wear jeans. Um, I really don't know what to do about those ones. I'll just put these ones in the maybe pile along with my, along with my maybe shorts. And then I have two pairs of more like office-y type uh, pants, which I should keep because I do attend meetings and like education days and conferences and different things like that. All right, so I'm almost done my gym stuff and this is what I'm left with, a whole bunch of really brightly colored clothing, which I almost never wear, but it is really cute and I do wanna make an effort to wear it. And when I've worn this top, I've really liked it. And I do like how I look in the in the DU even. I think what I need to do is retry the Gymshark stuff on. And I think what I'll do is if I put it on today and if I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it to the gym today, then I'll just get rid of them. So I'm gonna have to try these on later to make my decision. Okay, so I made it a good way through my clothes. And these are the ones that I have left over. And these were ones that I threw in my maybe pile so now i have to go through and decide what to do with them in terms of my handbags which this is all of them except for the one i'm currently using i actually like and want to keep all of these bags um, so it's just a matter of finding a better way to organize them and previously i had them kind of hanging up right there on like some on some clothes hangers and then i had a couple of them sitting up there which was really cluttered because there wasn't enough room between my shirts and the shelf so i'm going to find a better way to organize these probably on this shelf here and i might hang a couple of them on my walls and then i'm going to reorganize the shoes and i will show you guys the finished product when i'm done shoes that I've had for eons and have never ever worn but they are stunning on if you put them on with like a really cute black dress or something they're so beautiful and so I don't really want to get rid of them because if I ever do need and I know this is like classic mistake if I ever do need a really glitzy beautiful shoe even though they're like squished this is actually such a gorgeous shoe I don't know if I'll ever wear it though but I'm gonna put them in a box for um, safekeeping along with some of the other shoes that I don't wear as often and that way if I do have like a glamorous occasion and I need something a little bit extra glam then I do have them.
right, so this is the new and improved decluttered wardrobe. And what I did was I kind of just organized everything first based on shirts and sweaters and then pants and then um, dresses slash rompers and jumpsuits. And then on the bottom I have my shoes and handbags and clutches organized on the white shelf underneath. And then just to the left in the bins was where I put all the shoes that either I don't wear very frequently or I just don't want them sitting out in plain sight. But they're not necessarily shoes I want to donate. So the only thing I have left is two handbags that I have to figure out where I'm going to put them because I don't really have a shelf or a place to put them right now and I don't want them sitting on the floor necessarily. And I could put them up there, but I really can't reach anything up there, but that might be just the best place uh, for them for the time being. And this is what the left side of my closet looks like. So to the left, I have all of my work clothes, my scrubs, um, a sweater that I always wear to work. I have my gym clothes here, which I tried that white one on and decided I did like it. And I just have to see if I'm gonna actually wear those Gymshark and, um, what do you call it? Do you even clothes? Because honestly, I don't wear them very often, but when I do wear them, I really like them. So we'll give them a shot and see. And then I have this big, nice open space there with nothing there, which is kind of refreshing. And then I just moved my 25 pound weight that I usually kept on the bottom of the floor and put it underneath my bed. And then I just have my two boxes of shoes there and pretty much nothing up top except an old shoe box that actually holds my duster bags. And then I also have my vision board up there, which I just don't have sitting in my on my wall currently, but it's there if I ever want to reference it. And this is my donate pile. So I didn't get rid of a ton of clothes, but I feel good about the stuff I am getting rid of because I can look at that stuff. And even though it all looks very pretty to the eye, I know that I'm not gonna be wearing that stuff and there's no point in keeping it in my closet if I'm not gonna be wearing it.